Hi guys, welcome to another video from Paul here at CCTV Systems UK. Today we're going to talk about these little things and they are CCTV video balance. Now there's two types uh, and I always like the ones with the tail on. They do do a type without a tail on but obviously there's not a lot of movement on there. If you put something like these on, obviously when the DVR is moved around a little bit they don't just pull out. So that is the half video balance, and we know that because all it does is video, video only, there's only one BNC connected on it. And then of course I do the full video balance, which is not just the video, it's also got the power lead on it as well, so it takes care of that. It's easy to spot a full video because of those two, um, a full balance because of those two connections, and of course... It has an RJ45 female connection in the bottom of it. There's a yellow light there and obviously a green light there. The green light is a one for the power. I'll get that to come on later for you. Um, it does stay on the side, camera side or camera end. And because these come in pairs, when they buy them in a packet, there is also a blue sign on it as well that says DVR side. Now, if you couldn't read that writing, or it wasn't even on there, there would still be a red or a blue uh, marker on it so you can tell which is which. Red for camera side, blue for DVR. If you can't figure that out, obviously because this is a full uh, ballon with the power on it, the, D, uh, the uh, camera end will always have the male on for the power and the DVR end will always have the female. So don't stress over that. It's an easy thing to sort out. So a standard... HD high vision camera there. It is POC as well. We'll go into that a little bit later. But of course it will run on a standard system. So it has the video BNC connection and the female 5.5mm uh, jack for your uh, power. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. We push the power lead in. Push and twist clockwise. And that's our connection. Now... The camera clearly isn't powered because there's no power coming down this. And we know that because one, there's, there's nothing in the um, RJ45 single and the green light isn't on. So let's get some power to this. We then pick up the twin to that, which is the blue one that says uh, DVR side. What we'll do straight away is introduce some power. So here's a, a male jack plug. That's very similar to the type of thing that's on the camera end. And as I introduce it, you will see the green light come on. There you go. So we know we've got voltage down to here. Now, normally, that BNC connection would go into your DVR. And that's the reason why I said I like these with the tails on them, because there's a bit of movement. I'll keep that out for the time being, because I'm going to then jury rig a cable from this into my test meter. So you can see this camera in action. So now we've got the power on one end, but we haven't got it on the other. What do we do? Well, we need a cable. And here's a piece I made earlier. I've done it in white. I've put the uh, anti-bending glands on there so they, uh, they don't break. Now this is a Cat5 full copper copper cable. So it's a full on copper. And... I've done these connections uh, with my crimping tool. Here's the connections before they were done. You've all seen these before. They're the male RJ45 connections. They're from a company called Platinum Tools, which are excellent. Trust me, they're more money. But again, trust me, you get what you pay for. They're excellent. The crimping tool is also a Platinum Tools. Again, more money than the standard version. But you get what you pay for. It's just a better thing. Now, of course, we would usually have... I'll just show you this. We'd usually have these cables in a certain order. There's four pair. And obviously, there's a positive and a negative. As you can see, I've split the green one. So there's actually eight in total. You would put them into your connector a certain way, in a certain order. And the way to know that order is to just basically go to your computer and punch in 568B, and that's B for Bravo, and that will bring up 
the um, order in which these cables have to go into here before you use your crimping tool. So let's say we've got our order correctly, we've pushed them, the cables through, there's some tails on them. These crimping tools of course have a little blade on the back to get rid of the excess. It will only go in one way because it's handed. Crimp once, crimp twice. I always do it twice just to make sure it's right. And that is then ready. If you've got a little network testing tool, it's worth just plugging that in just to make sure that this is done correctly on both sides. I happen to know this one is, I use it in my videos all the time. So here we go. Oh, and very quickly, don't use one of these. That's the sort of uh, cable you will get with your Sky Television or with your router or BT or something like that. That is normal CCA cable. It is not copper. So CCA and full copper, they're both Cat5. Don't use these little patch cables. Because they're aluminium, they do not have the bandwidth to be able to cope with um, video pictures. Certainly not HD pictures that come from uh, CCTV cameras now. And the way you can tell that that is a full copper cable is to look on the box. And of course it will be a full 350 megahertz. And that is a nice wide bandwidth. So let's pretend that this cable is 150 metres long. One of these ends is down where your DVR is. And this end has got the um, end up at the uh, camera. You've put your connections on, you've tested it, you know it works. So down at your DVR end, you plug the RJ45 connection in. To there into the female and I'll just show you this I'll turn it onto its side so you can see it there's a green light voila there's your power from there coming up to here now I know that that's powered up not only because that green light is on now on this side on the receiver at uh, the sender end right up near the camera but I just heard that camera click into life so I know it's working so there you go that's our connection which we're pretending is 150 meters and all I've got to do now is get a piece of RG59 single which has got the BNC connections on each end and because that would normally go into a DVR just so I can make this compatible that's a male um, to male uh, BNC connector into there into that which would usually be into your DVR into my test meter and I'll switch this on now I don't know if you can see this probably can't it's hard with uh, YouTube videos YouTube videos CVI HD TVI HD or analog HD AHD now I know that this camera even though it can do POC I know it can also work on a standard system which is TVI so here we go I'll give that a press And up comes our video. And we know that's right. There you go. And that's me waving in front of it. And that's correct. Because it's powered all the way from down the bottom. All the way up that 150 metre cable. Up to our camera end. And we can prove that. By simply disconnecting the voltage. Obviously the picture goes off. Pushing it back in. The camera boots back up. And there's our picture again. So that is our full video ballon works so now i'm going to go on to the um what we call the half ballon that just does the video so for, just bear with me for a moment while i turn all this off because i'm not going to show that one running i think it's pretty pointless i think you get the idea of what we're trying to achieve here take those out da, 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 that off there. and let's bring a half ballon in now that is a half ballon because it only does video and you can tell it also doesn't have the RJ45 connection, which of course that cable went into earlier on. It's simply not compatible. It's only a half ballon. And if you look on it, it does actually say DVR. So that's a DVR end. But it actually shows there's a blue column on there. Remember what I said? Blue is for your DVR end. Red is for your camera end. Now if I bring the 
other one up because I said they come in pairs. This is one that's actually wired up. It's much easier to see the red there. So we know that that plugs into the cable. So how do we wire it up? Let's take that out first. So on this particular ballon, they've got little buttons that you can press. When you press them down, it opens up a little compartment. So you bear the ends off all of these cables on your Cat5 or even better Cat6. Um, I like uh, five to six millimeters. Press the button. I put both orange cores into the grey, which is the positive, both brown cores into the white, which is the negative. So that's the video. Remember, it's a half ballon. And then you've all seen these before. 5.5 mil jack plug. It's the same as that was on the camera end of the full ballon, as you can see there. So we know it's right. But because it's a half ballon, it doesn't have one of those on. I strip the ends of the green core and the blue core, again, about five to six millimetres. Green into the positive on this side, blue into the negative on that side for the power. Please bear in mind, other people do it different ways. It's completely up to you, I suppose, if you're installing it. But that's the way I like to do it. I like the warmer colours for the video and the colder colours for the power. And this would, like the other full ballon, Push the power in with the VNC, push and twist it clockwise. And I've specifically left this open so you can see. This is a piece of Cat5 cable. You'd strip this outer core off. Those cables that you saw there, you would again strip the orange and brown. The orange going into the positive and the brown going into the negative. So that's your video taken care of. And then you would strip the green and blue back and we'll introduce one of these that's the female connection that was on the full ballon as you can see it's the same type of thing and you would put the green into the positive and the blue into the negative making sure that there's five millimeters on the end and tighten that down and that of course would then be ready to go this would go into your dvr and we would introduce the power just like we did before and the camera would switch on so there you go that's a half ballon uh, and a full ballon and how to wire them up. so let's talk why we need these let's talk about it cat5 like this cable if you've got it in your property and you want to run it to an analog hd camera like this you'd have to use these ballons now I understand you'd put the balance on if the cable was already in situ, you've already got it inside. If you don't, you would then do away with this and get a Hike Vision POC system, power over coax. Why? It'll do 200 meters like this does. And of course, that's the reason why we have this because we could never get analog HD cameras to work much more than 50 or 60 meters because of the power problems but with POC power over coax you don't need this one a new install you wouldn't do it show you how to wire it up so let's talk about the POC I have got those cables here this is the cable I just showed you earlier on which is a piece of RG59 single and POC is everything that it says it is. Power and video goes in one side and comes out the other. So you only need one cable. Power and video down one. Now remember, I've just shown you how to put the uh, uh, males and female power sockets onto those. You don't need them. Now this particular camera is a POC compatible one as well. We did use the power on it. So let's say we've got a POC DVR. We take that out of the way, tape it up in the box so it's nice and secure. Push the BNC connector on and turn it to the right so it secures it. And this one 150 metres away, because remember that's what we said for the other one. Push that into your POC DVR and that camera will power up. Because video and power down one cable. So ask yourself... If you're going to do a new install and you're going to use 
uh, a camera like this that goes onto a DVR, not on NVR of course, in which case you wouldn't have these connections. But if you're going to use these cameras, and there's plenty of different types, there's POC, uh, which is a night vision camera, there is a barely focal of this, um, a zoom one, and in the next 10 days the new colour view cameras are coming through, and they're all POC, one cable. The reason why we're such a big fan of that, and why I mention it, is POC is inexpensive, it's super reliable, because of course there's no power supply on there, you've all seen the big power supplies that power your cameras, you know they go wrong as much as um, hard drives go wrong, if you've seen our videos previously, so that makes them super reliable, of course the cost is good, because you don't have to buy that um, power supply for your cameras, this cable is very inexpensive, so it's great from a, a money point of view there, and of course it's shielded. These are all crimped up and done properly, it's got a copper core and it's got a copper shield on the outside, so when you run this at the side of a power cable, as long as it's not a great big thing of three phase or whatever have you, you won't get any interference, whereas these cables, Cat5 or Cat6, because they've just got the cores inside and absolutely no shielding, suffer terribly with voltage, you know the magnetic field that voltage gives getting into the cables. Again, look at some of our other videos. Once you get that um, interference into your camera, because obviously the power goes up here, picks up the video signal, brings it back down again and runs past the power cable, you get vertical and horizontal lines all over, and you must use a ground loop isolator to try and get those lines out, which then reduces the length that you can run uh, this uh, video down this cable, Cat5 or Cat6, by about 50 metres. So, you know, it's pretty self-explanatory. If you can, go for the POC. If not, I'm showing you how to wire these things up. So there you go. A full video ballon and a half video ballon that just does video. I hope this answers the questions um, that we've been asked. You know who you are. Um, if you need any more help on this thing with balance or CCTV or how to get from analog HD down to, to Cat5 or vice versa or any of the other issues you might come across, send us an email. You must know it because we've had so many. Uh, send us a message on our Facebook page. And we'll do our very best to help you out. Obviously, the videos have to wait till the weekend because we do run a business and, of course, through the week we can install anything from half a dozen to ten systems per day across our branches. I do tend to leave it while the weekend, while it's a bit quieter, uh, when I've got a bit more time to do them for you. So, as it's Sunday, like I say, it's the weekend when I'm doing my video, the only thing to say is, this is Paul logging off at CCTV Systems UK, and you all enjoy the rest of your weekend. I will speak to you again very soon. Bye-bye now.